cannabis to industrial and medicinal perspectives. There's a lot of confusion because what is industrial cannabis, what is medicinal cannabis, and what is recreational cannabis. The main difference is in the THC, CBD content, and also in the uses. Industrial cannabis or hemp have low THC and CBD contents. It is mainly used in fiber and oil crop or textile and motor industry. Medicinal cannabis have a low THC content but a very high CBD content and has been used in the treatment of various ailments. Recreational cannabis, Mariana Odaha, have a high THC content and the CBD content vary and is used for recreational and religious uses. Cannabis is an extremely versatile plant and is used in many different products and applications. It's used in paper products, textiles, plastics, body care products, construction, human and livestock feed, fuel, livestock bedding, nutritional supplement, essential oils, medicines, and many more. Let's now concentrate on industrial cannabis. The global industrial hemp market is about 5.6 billion in 2020 and is project projected to reach about 27.7 billion by 2028. China is the largest producer. Unfortunately, the South African market is still unknown. In South Africa, you still need a permit to grow cannabis and the products being uh, produced from industrial cannabis is paper, textiles, rope, clothing, shoes, food, paper, bioplastics, insulation, biofuels, oils, car seats, and dashboards. Industrial cannabis has been grown on small scale in South Africa already. The plants are very tall plants that are planted at a very narrow spacing. And due to the uh, legislation, the plants now need strict security when you plant it. The plants can be harvested manually or by um, machines. And you could see where the hemp fibers is mostly in the best part of the stem, and it's been used in various products. Let's concentrate now on medicinal cannabis. The global medicinal cannabis market is about $8.9 million in 2020, and is estimated to reach $49 million US dollars by 2028. It is one of the fastest growing industrials globally. The South African market is currently unknown. The legal status of cannabis is the same as for industrial cannabis. You need a permit to grow it. Medicinal cannabis has been used in various products like oils, edibles and tinctures. And these are used to treat various ailments like to relieve pain from cancer, arthritis, and also to help fight cancer cells. It also helps to regulate and prevent diabetes and help to alleviate and treat depression, anxiety and PTSD symptoms and also show promise in the treatment of autism and HDHD children. It also slowed the development of Alzheimer's disease and help with the tremors associated with Parkinson's disease. Medicinal cannabis can be grown indoors or outdoors. Very sophisticated indoor facilities is being used in certain areas, but it can be grown with very low-tech outdoor facilities and even at small scales indoors. In order to stimulate the cannabis market in South Africa, the government have devised the National Cannabis Master Plan Framework. This framework are based on seven pillars, effective regulatory systems, sustainable seed supply systems, research and technology development, sustainable producer and support systems, market development, supply development systems, and manufacturing and product development. All these pillars rest on a fundament of education, communication, and capacity development. These will stimulate the growth of the cannabis market in South Africa and help it to contribute to poverty elevation. And Thank you very much for listening.